Hey folks. We're answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. Today I will walk through how to use the Management API in Actions. Before watching this video, you'll need to have a machine-to-machine -machine application created, with it linked to the Management API, with all the necessary permissions. This will be used for the next part of this example. Now let's see how we can call the Management API in Actions. For this example, we will use a post login action to add a default role to a user. Let's navigate to Actions by clicking on Actions, Flows, Login, and building a new custom action. On this page, we can give the action a name. Let's name it Actions Management API Client. Now we can implement the code to use the Management API to make a call to add a role to our user endpoint. We can use the example script found in our How Can I Use the Management API FAQ. The script uses the management client to call the at role user method to add the default role to the user. Given the sensitive nature of initializing an instance of the management client, we must secure sensitive information like our domain, client ID, and client secret. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, a few more steps we need to take is to include the NPM module for the management client and the role ID we want to assign to the user. All right, we're done with our script. We can save our draft and deploy the action and add it to our flow and press apply. After this is complete, we will also need to create a test user that we can test our post log and action script. At this stage, we can try our post log and action script and check the results. And here it is. We can see that we managed to add the editor role to the new user. Today we looked at how we can use the management API in actions. Please leave us a like or comment if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the Octodev YouTube channel. You can find additional support at community.auth0.com. Thanks for watching.